Welcome back to the channel everyone. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make a very very uh, highly effective facial scrub. Okay, We are going to use a very powerful, not uh, too popular exfoliant which is pumistone. So if you have ever used pumistone before uh, you will know that it's a very effective uh, exfoliant if you know how to make it and if you know how to use it. Okay, then it's going to be very simple this is a very simple exfoliant that you can use for the face the way i made this is only going to be for the face in upcoming project we're going to do exfoliating scrub for the feet or for the whole body but this is suitable for the face and the and the body but not for the feet so this is how this is the consistency you look at it right now you ask me is this what where is the exfoliant here right the exfoliant here is pumistone that i told you about but because of the way it was formulated we can see that it's suspended and because of the thickener we use it's suspended and it's very very effective okay so let's just so uh, jump into this and do it right away so the first thing you want to do is to mix your ingredient in other so the first ingredient we are going to use is the thickener we're using clear xanthan gum usp a very very powerful thickener for cosmetic formulation and it's also very very stable glycerin usp okay 97.7 we're using ilksil pe 9010 preservative then we are using distilled water so how do we do it? Mix your glycerin with you mix glycerin with clear xanthan gum. So that is the first step. Mix glycerin with clear xanthan gum. After that you're going to add it add your distilled water to it okay so i'm going to introduce this into a beaker a bigger be add the still water to it mix it For a cleaner uh, mixture, I'm going to quickly run this through um, my overhead overhead stir. So that's going to stay well for like a few seconds and we are good to go. So after mixing with an overhead stir, this is what you get. So an overhead stir is will do a good job for you for any of your mixing project and i've introduced that with uh, to you over this channel you can look in the description box below for the overhead stair I, I used it it will do a very powerful job for mixing your gel or any of your products so after that we are going to add our exfoliant you ask me how come i didn't use uh, maybe 10 gram 20 gram no as a cosmetic formulator, you have to use everything in the proper proportion, depending on what you're making it for. Because we're using, we using this for the face and also sometimes for the body, we have to use light amount of exfoliant. This is a stone, so tiny amount for the face. So you add it, then you mix it. Because my mixer, this one will not do a good job, so I'll quickly run it over to my overhead terra which will do a perfect job for me. You look in the description box below for the stair I use. Very, very effective. If you, if you wanted to get your job done properly. So my overhead stair has mixed it, perfect. The last ingredient we are going to add to our facial scrub is the preservative. 
XLP 9010 by Pure Blend Natural, highly effective broad spectrum preservative. So add it and mix it. As always, I will run this through to my overhead stirrer fast. In a few seconds, this is going to do a good job of mixing for me. And we are done. So all you have to do at this stage is to check the pH, okay, and adjust it accordingly. So the pH of, of this should be between 5 and 5.5, nothing below, okay. At most, it can go up to 6, but nothing above that. So make sure you check it with your pH meter. I've introduced this pH meter to you on this channel. It's Anna pH meter. So how do you use it? watch other video if you do you have never used a hana ph meter before so just make sure you make sure it's clean your ph meter is properly clean pat it dry and check the ph so we check the ph if the ph is too high you have to make sure you lower it if it's too low make sure you bump it up okay for exfoliant, the pH we want is between 5 to 5.5 or maximum of 6. So I'm checking it now. I have to wait until this stops. 6.8. As you see, 6.8 is not the pH we are targeting. So for this, you're going to lower the pH using citric acid solution. Okay. So drop a couple of secret acid solution to it and this is going to bring the pH down. So I'm using 50-50 citric acid solution, just a couple of draw, one drop is enough to lower the pH for me. So after that, you check the pH again and make sure it's at the pH level you want. So then you're going to package it into the proper packaging. What's the best packaging for your beauty product? Go for amber color packaging. This is going to prevent direct light entry into it and it's going to make it last. Okay. This is a DIY product not meant for uh, commercial use because for commercial product you have to do your clinical test to make sure you do challenge test to make sure it doesn't damage the skin of your customer. So, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video. You ask me, how do I use this? It's very straightforward to use. So just take a little bit, okay? And use, rub it on your face in a circular manner, gently circular manner. Leave it on for around five to 10 minutes, then rinse it off with lukewarm water. That's how you use it. You can use it as much as you like, but just make sure you apply scrub it gently okay because there's an exfoliant in it you don't want to apply too much force okay so scrub it gently and uh, rinse it up after 10 after 5 to 10 minutes in our next video we are going to make also an amazing product so it's something you want to stay tuned for so just make sure you click the notification icon so that you will be notified when i release my next video if you want to learn how to make beauty products to sell Check out StableCosmetiFormulas.com. This is where I teach beauty brand owner upcoming and uh, experience how to make different, you know, retail grade, highly effective retail grade beauty products that you will love and your clients also will love. So thanks for joining me and happy formulating.